Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another anime movie and today I'm going to react to I want to eat your pancreas or Kimi no Suizo Tabetai. Alright, um, this has always been in my watch list but I never like checked it out because I usually do not check anime movies out. Very like you know those uh, movies which are extremely popular which are related to like you know animes like for example my hero academia the mainstream animes like gintama those uh, movies i usually check out but all of these standalone movies i rarely check out that's why like you know like all the movies are really new to me uh, unlike anime i've like watched most of the animes but unlike anime anime movies are completely new for me so like yeah so this is extremely popular i always wanted to check it out but i never did so yeah i'm going to react to it now and i know I know this is a very sad movie and I usually am not comfortable like you know showing my emotions in front of the camera so this will probably be extremely awkward for me I don't know if I will be able to like you know uh, keep my emotions in check or not I'm I'm not actually sure because yeah like everything of uh, about this movie like even the like you know the post like in the promotional art that the poster of the movie uh like everything even the summary it, it seems as if like you know this is going to be sad so it i don't know like i don't know how this will be i let's see like i'm preparing myself for this uh, let's see how this movie actually makes me you know like how much am i able to um what can i say bear it bear the sadness so yeah without further ado let's get started with uh, the anime movie uh, i want to eat your pancreas so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started with this movie all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, let me get ready. <clears throat> oh, oh my god, it's starting like this. Oh god. Yeah, she's the main character. Oh my god, here we go. She's the main girl, isn't she? Oh god, this will be... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Category codes. Oh, the animation is very obviously this is a movie, so um this is the library, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, this thing that's the real reason for the name of the title. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> oh 
I want to eat your <laughs> pancreas. Okay. Oh. Yeah, oh god. <sighs> oh, this has a no. Uh, has a s opening song? What? I, usually movies don't have that. Yeah, okay, wow. Like, there are songs in movies, but you know, not as an opening format like other animes have. Okay, it's quite a mm, exciting song. <laughs> wow, wow, this scene. Okay. April. Oh, is he going to meet her here? Oh. Okay. Yeah, someone left it here. Um leave Oh my god. Oh, so this is the, the girl's diary, I'm guessing. I may have a few years to learn. Thank you, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. This is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it is so dry. Like ah oh, yeah, that's it. Uh yeah, there you go. I'm sure she's surprised because usually people ask. You know, like, oh do you have this some kind of like disease? I'm so sorry for you. But he barely said anything. I doubt. Well, What? No! No one says that in front of a person like, like who's going to die. Okay. Hmm. He's extremely like, you know, stoic. <laughs> He's not even reacting to her laughing, wow.
Oh, what the? <laughs> nah, I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good. I, I I need to keep that word in mind. You know, like don't drag me into your coincidences. <laughs> that's a great way to. <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing this is appendicitis. It's just saying something for about that. Wow, he really is a lot dry. What can I say? Oh, no one knows. Oh, okay. I was not expecting. I thought maybe people knew. Oh my God, my rest of my life. Damn. Okay. She did her research. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's some um, like <laughs> Yeah, I think everyone has. Yeah. True. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she was saying like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. But still, like, they cannot cure her. Like, that's, like, their limitation. Oh. Mm. Born religion. What? Um.
Even worse. What? That's a weird hobby. <laughs> okay. I doubt, like, you know, that's what she thinks. Otherwise, she won't actively try to talk with him. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He's rich. What? He's rich? Hmm. Yeah, I was saying that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Oh, God. What the? What the? What the hell? Okay, this is... Wow. Call the police. Oh yeah, there was a sign. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this guy's are... There you go. Oh! <laughs> the guy the guy on the bicycle is just sitting there. He's like Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's just clicking photos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What? What's the name? Wait, what is the name? Cafe Spring. Oh. Wow, that's a really nice place, you know? Yeah.
Green. Why? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> She's messaging him already. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What? What's happening? Wait, what's happening? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. What? Hmm. Ha! <laughs> He's like, yes! Oh damn, he's a cool guy? Mm. Yeah, he's a cool guy of the class. Takahido. Yeah, his, his name is also like one of the cool guy names. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's a class representative as well. This girl is like the other girl who's standing. <sighs> mm. Look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, he's like <laughs> what? What? Oh, this little name is Paradise. Okay. <laughs> maybe both oh, or maybe neither <laughs> oh yeah all of them are like ladies <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, I'm thinking, why is he like this? Like, maybe some kind of... 
something happened in the past or something or maybe not oh okay okay so he's like okay i'm getting it oh Oh, that guy? The, the guy who's uh, giving him gum? Maybe it might be him. Okay, so she's your boss. Yeah, who he, she was talking about. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Junior high. Okay. That's a long time. Hmm. <laughs> Run. Yeah, I was thinking. Ah, <sighs> the first scene of the movie. True. Very true. It should start kind of like, you know. What can I say? Like start to hold back back herself while interacting with her if she gets to know Ugh. yeah she's thinking Yeah, I'm sure like she's talking with him more because he's the only person who won't give, you know, yeah, her the preferential treatment. Yeah, that's why she never told anything to her friends. Like once she does that, they'll start like giving him her a lot more. Yeah. And she's tired of it, so that's why like she only wants one person who would probably kind of Yeah And by interacting with him she f understood that he won't give him that treatment Because like you know because he is like this because they are not so good friends She can talk with him Like them being strangers is a big factor here. Which kind of triggered this whole thing, you know? Oh. <laughs> it's... it's
Yeah, I'm sure this is the guy. Yeah, this is the guy, most probably. Oh! Okay, he's not. Okay, he's not. I, I was mistaken. Okay. Maybe it's a class rep, who knows? Hmm. <laughs> okay, well. What? I don't get it. What's she saying? Oh, he she wants to like you know for him to become friends with her. Is that it? Straight to the point. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did not know. Oh my god. All right, well. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Kidnap me. I don't think his her parents would. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying that, like, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Last name. What? <laughs> mm. Okay. What? Okay. Why did not? Why did they hide the his name? <laughs> There's the ramen. Oh, oh wow god he's talking a lot more we can see that you know oh, only the good um <laughs> hmm <laughs> What? Not not. Oh my god, okay, I can guess what's going to happen here. There's only one room. Yeah. <laughs> He's sweating. Whoa, this room is... Yeah, damn.
Oh god. I'm still reading. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, what did he see? Some kind of medicines? I'm guessing. Might be something like that. What is this? Is that alcohol? <laughs> okay. Ten rounds. Oh, damn, she won. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't even... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I can feel that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we don't know her. Wow, he's losing. Hmm. <laughs> Third. Who's the second? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, won't he? He won win at least one time. <laughs> okay, he won this time. He's probably going to ask about whatever that she had in her purse. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> okay, that's...
Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, she won. Damn, she won after a long time, I'm guessing. Oh! Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah seven that's like a... five oh six okay she won again Wait, did she go to sleep? Yeah, she fell asleep. Mm. Well. Wait, she's awake? Oh my god. Okay, what was inside? Yeah, medication. I, I knew it. Ugh, so many. Hmm. Whoa, screaming, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Ah, well. Mm. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Two days after. Oh, okay. Oh, Guardian, okay. Oh, damn, the... Talking with someone. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, he he loves books, so. <laughs> oh, true. Little prince. What? I I don't know what is that. Yeah, I've also heard about it, but I don't know what it's actually about. <laughs> well, obviously, he is the, like, you know. Oh, what? <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> They're playing games? Yeah! <laughs> Mm. Yeah. I <laughs> feel like it. Quick wipe up. Wait, someone outside? No. Yeah, she's always like, you know, kind of playing everything off. Like, I think that's kind of like... Wait, who is this? Oh yeah, that guy. The class rep, isn't it? Oh god. 
Okay, great. Now. Yeah, this is the guy. Okay, great. Wow. This is the type of guy, like, okay. Wow, great. He has some amazing personality. Oh, damn. Wow, okay, this guy is totally a... Wow. Wow! He, he's, he's a piece of crap. He's a piece of crap, I can see that. Ugh. Oh god. These type of the people are the most annoying. <laughs> Wow. Oh god. Yeah, these type of people are like the... Okay, I was not expecting him to be like this type of a... Uh, like, you know? No, not him. Kyoko is okay, but... Hmm. Mm. That's a really nice way to think, you know, like the choices that we make, it's not like, you know, destiny or fate. Because of the choices we make.
Okay, thank God this did not like remain like you know like this, like a misunderstanding. <laughs> Yeah, what what does he she's Oh Wow, oh great. Because he does not interact with people. <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, she was there. Oh, Kyoko's here. Oh. Having a bond with others, okay. Okay. No, she's... Hmm. 
Ja. Same thing he does not do. <sighs> That's why he asked, like, what is living? Because he himself does not <laughs> interact with. <sighs> I'm guessing Kyoko can kind of okay no, maybe I'm not I thought maybe she was suspecting something What? Oh. Hmm. Where is she going? What the? Yeah.
Yeah, he's talking about now. Oh, fireworks, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you answered the question. Oh, <laughs> friend's house. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, what the? This guy is here. <laughs> Jesus, is like... What? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Oke, okay, dan <laughs> Yeah, we gave him the full Oke okay. Oh, oke, okay, only one Alright Yeah, definitely Yeah, he he's taking uh, like you know notice of his, his surroundings now. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, her name is Sakura, so Well, wow. Wait, where is she? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no, did something Oh my god, something Oh no, what the hell? What the Oh my god, that <laughs> What the?
This is even worse than I thought it would be. Wait, did, did she say something to her mom? Yeah, she said something about in the hospital.
Rotten half. Oh god. What? There's more? Oh, there's a lot of things written. Yeah. It take a long time to read this. Okay. True. Yeah. Yeah, he was scared because of that.
Yeah, so she was curious how can he like you know without having any friends. Oh, his name is Ha. Okay, Ha. Something with Haru. I think so. I'm sure about it. His name. Something with Haru, I'm sure about it. And there you go. Yeah. I kind of figured it out when she said that uh, you are the spring that I was waiting for.
screen. Oh, this is Kyoko. Yeah. He's going to tell her about the pancreas disease. I'm sure about it. Oh. Yeah, she's thinking that this is an accident, like, no, it was an accident, but... But she was, he was a stranger. That's why he knows. She didn't want that. She wanted to be normal with everyone. Uh, to her mom's place and mom said that you went Kyoko oh okay Oh. 
Well, I was expecting this, but... <sighs> that doesn't make it any easier. All right, this movie. A lot of, what can I say? Um, very amazing portions it had, like very, um, what can I say? Like, there were a lot of portions that I was really impressed with. Like not only, like the movie in itself was good, but especially, what can I say? Like, inside the movie, the different things that were happening in, in those portions, there were so many moments which were so amazing which I probably won't forget like, you know like as she said that this whole choice thing that I don't believe in fate or you know um, destiny i believe that everything that we face is a result of our own choices piling up one upon the other and bringing us to that outcome like yeah that is what can i say that was one of the best things that i've ever heard like, you know, the, the way she kind of explained it in such a positive vibe. Like, she said that the choice, everything is our choice. Like, fate and, you know, uh, destiny is such a vague thing. It's like a lottery, you know? Like, you either get it or you don't. But according to her, like, there's no such thing. Everything is a result of your own actions. And every choice that you make kind of contribute to that outcome. And like, you know, that, that is such a, such a great way of interpreting fate and destiny. Like you are the master of your own story. That is basically it. So yeah. Like thinking about it like that, you know, she is really true because what is fate and what is destiny? It's something like, you know, you can like kind of say that, yeah, a miracle is something that is fate or like, you know, or your destiny, some miracle happening or something bad happening, like either like extremely positive thing or an extremely negative thing. Both can be your fate or your destiny. And people usually say that, oh, this was in my destiny. This would have, like, you know, no one could have stopped this. But, like, after watching this, you know, I would probably say that no. Like, as she explained, like, for example, if you, like, if, if an amazing thing happens to you, like, for example, let's take an example. For example, um... Yeah, meeting two people. So let, let's take the take to this movie in itself. That will be a lot more, like you know, um, easy to. Okay, just a sec. I'll like resume it after. <laughs> Took a whole year. Oh, Kyoko's here as well. Yeah.
Oh, the gum. Yeah, he's talking about that 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 guy. Okay, that's the end. Listen, yeah. All right. The the thing that I was saying is like, let's take the, this movie. Like when both of them meet in the hospital, like nothing, like like you know, any, nothing in this movie that happened would have happened if Sakura did not decide to keep that book uh, in the place. You know, like that's what she was actually saying. That all of the choices are something that we make. Everything that happens after that, which we refer to as destiny or fate, is something which comes because of the result of our own actions. So, like you know, like basically, like small little things that you do, which might escalate into a completely like unbelievable thing. That is basically fate. Like the things that you are doing is the result uh the fate is the result of the things that you are doing the only thing is that it is a bit unexpected and yeah like that and, and a lot of things like you know the, this whole like it really showed us how a person like you know who is who knows that he like you know he or she is going to die like how like like in, in this movie it was sakura like how she copes up with everything and um the whole like you know i i really like the thing that really made them kind of click is the fact that as sakura said that if i say uh, anything about my illness to my friends they'll start you know kind of uh, being start getting reserved in front of her and a lot of what can i say um complications like you know they start kind of holding themselves back you know uh, become a lot more awkward in front of her she didn't want that and but at the same time she wanted to talk with you know someone by like you know by being herself she wanted to be true with someone unfortunately as she said she could not be like that in front of his fr in front of her friends so um the guy i forgot his name haru haruki or what was his name um just a sec uh it was obviously there was something with haru but i cannot um like you know it was haruki yeah haruki okay so yeah as i was saying like uh, it was because it was because haruki was a type of person like that you know she did not know haruki but she was kind of interested in him in him so she did not have much like you know much to hold back with him so she decided to tell him and like then she kind of like you know she i'm sure like if after like telling him he started you know getting concerned about it started like you know kind of hold himself back after that you know like sim like show sympathy towards him i doubt sakura would have like you know uh try to interact with him after that you know they would have been like friends like not friends but she would they would kind of be acquaintances but that would be probably it because he reacted like that you know like oh is that so all right that i'm sure like that really like you know made sakura more interested in him because as she said she did not, does not want anyone to kind of hold back in front of her after knowing that you know that i have this disease 
but at the same time she wanted to talk about it with someone so it was like a really good combination and um, like, uh, like it was so like what can i say like uh, we also as, as i was saying like we also see it from her perspective how she thinks about this whole thing like you know live the, the name of the book like living with dying like you know like she's trying to live her life even though she knows that she's going to like die sooner than the other people and like i don't know like i'm sure like his her personality played a big role of her being so positive throughout the whole thing because i doubt like everyone would be able to accept this like you know but like you know um people who are like this for example who knows that yeah i have a certain amount of time left i think their personality like you know shifts in a drastic way after they realize that yeah there's nothing we can do like they become like you know more what can i say appreciative of everything around them and as sakura was wants to live their life to the fullest and that in itself like is such a like, big trigger the realization that yeah i don't have much time left and it's really like as she said like she she was kind of putting up a front in front of everyone it's really very what can i say um like the feeling that um yeah like i won't be able to live like my friends are like i have a limited amount of time left whereas like all my other friends will keep on living and even though i want to i won't be able to live like having that kind of feeling every day is such a big like you know stress in itself i don't know like this like this was a very you know like heavy a very heavy type of a movie and like so also like you know just like she as she said that i changed like you know i changed in a lot of way after meeting you like i think the biggest change obviously is like haruki got like she like he decided to start interacting with people after like you know after meeting with sakura and like she he himself decided to kind of like actively um take interest in others another really good thing that this um, movie like kind of uh, had is like um sakura's explanation of living like what is living she says that it's uh mm, what kind of, like, what did she say like she says that it's uh like it's a person making bonds with others and like because i because someone is alone they are unable to understand like you know what like you know like like every like basically everyone needs the valid what is the word validification or <laughs> sorry like you know what i'm trying to say like everyone needs that from others and even though it's a really what can i say um like <sighs> like i cannot explain myself here properly like everyone needs someone else to accept them like that was basically sakura's explanation of living and you know like as she said that i by interacting with others am able to understand who i am like by touching others by others touching me i can understand what like you know like the feeling of like warmth and by interacting with others laughing with others i am able to understand like everything like it's it's like basically something that she is doing for herself in in the end but like you know like according to her living is something like that living is bonds living is interacting with others and like she was really fascinated at how haruki was able to do the same thing by being himself you know without interacting with others that's what like she got really fascinated with because her what can i say her point of view of this world her point of view of living was so heavily 
like you know it was so heavily um what do you call it like not denied but so heavily like it was so opposite so uh you know different from the way she thought what it actually is like looking at haruki so that really made her interest and she thought like as she she kind of explained it in the end that i was really curious at how are you able to do it by yourself so like that was something like you know like her explanation of living is really like they're like in my opinion like the explanation of living is different from for each and every people you know like it's there's no like certain answer for it no correct answer no wrong answer everyone has their own definition of living like her definition of living is something like this and like maybe someone else's definition of living is something else so it differs but like that does not negate the fact that each and every explanation each and every answer for that question what is living is wrong none of the answers are wrong everyone has their own version of the like you know of an answer and i think each and every one is right on their own and that was really what can i say like this this show was really um like i i really did not expect it going like this you know because like i knew something like this is going to happen they're going to like build it up and by the end of it we're going to see the person die but you know what really surprised and shocked me is the fact that the actual reason of her death is not even her pancreas failure like ultimately she dies because of completely something completely different now this is another thing you know like you don't know what's going to happen and like everyone i'm sure everyone who started this movie also expected something nothing like this happening you know everyone expected oh this will be a very sad movie we're going to like you know feel like you know like see them kind of interacting they're going to kind of get closer and then by the end of it like she's going to die because of the pancreatic failure and everything will be like you know like she he'll be sad but by the end of it he's going to kind of like you know stand up again and she's he's going to change i'm sure everyone thought something but like it like i was really shocked and surprised when something like that happened like the whole like she got killed by someone completely else and like it's really like i have to say like this is one of the biggest sh- like shocking things that i ever ever seen in a movie like nothing too much like you know like obviously not like a lot of shocking things happen in anime but i really was not expecting something like this by the end of it and i i'm, I'm really confused as to what to feel about it you know like usually like by the end of a movie we can kind of say that yeah whatever happened was for the good or was for the bad but like you know or maybe like uh, whatever happened was something that i really appreciated or i did not appreciate i i i'm confused i really am confused as to what i should think about that whole situation like her like like it's a conflicting emotion like it, like i like i i have like what can i say like when i heard that she like something like that happened and she died like that like i don't know i feel really angry at the person who even did that obviously and at the same time it was like a whole like like it, it was a very like you know i i i got confused by the end of it like i didn't even know what to think about it like the person they like like even like you know what what would have like how i could have like thought about that situation more if they showed us the person who killed her and so does show us how like you know he got punished or something if 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 something like that happened like the movie did not do anything like that like it was as if like you know um like that was the main thing that made me really conflicted about how i should feel about the situation because it just showed that like you know someone stabbed her and like you know in the like what like another thing that kind of heightened that factor it was written in the news that she died like if something like like let me take a, an, another hypothetical situation if 
if something like that happened you know like in the news like they sh they're showing that someone got stabbed in it you know uh, in her heart and they're taken to the hospital and if like you know she, she's still alive but fighting for her death and then uh, haruki goes to the hospital they like you know she like, like he sees her like almost like dying and everything and then like after a few days she like passes away if something like this happened i would have felt really like you know what can i say sad angry at whoever the person who did this but they played off that scene so simply and without like going into the whole situation so easily that in the end by the end of it i was so conflicted you know they just like you know made made a news report that yeah there's this something like this happened she died in the news only it showed and like the, the thing came cat crashing down on all at the same moment they did not pace the shock factor like you know they could have like as i like explained the hypothetical situation it would have been more like you know spaced out and like you know like in a way so whatever like you know what would have happened would have taken a little bit of time to happen and the shock factor would have came down little by little but in that brief five seconds everything happened and the whole and we understood what this movie is actually about in that five seconds and what like you know what is going to what has happened and what is the actual conclusion of the movie it all came crashing down in that five mere seconds and wow like <sighs> i don't know and like you know like the one thing i really feel bad is like after her kind of like you know in, in her diary writing that yeah i got discharged we'll like you know live our life for the you know uh, i'll kind of enjoy my life for the rest of the day i live and that was it if that is the thing that really saddens me is like she cannot do that you know she was so happy after getting discharged and like she was texting him and they were kind of going to meet up and then suddenly something like this happens that is probably the only you know the biggest like sad like you know thing that could have ever happened in this movie like wow and uh, yeah that was a fantastic movie and like the whole <laughs> Like, you know, usually what happens in, in a sad movie, what happens is like, like, you know, there are sad portions in a movie, but this movie was like from the beginning to the end had kind of a weird, like aura, like, you know, a weird aura was kind of following from the beginning of the movie to the end of it. And that weird aura was kind of stifling in a way as to you already knew what was going to happen by the end of it. And you had to kind of like, you know, harden your heart and go along with everything that was happening. And see, like, it was like, you know, they like they gave us the ending of a story. And you know that the ending is going to be sad. And then they start explaining everything. The character development of the characters and everything. Then they start kind of like, you know, explaining. So this is a really weird type of... Uh, like, you know setting where like i've seen a lot of movies like this a lot of animes like this where they kind of like you know show us what's going to be by the end of it i they just fair like usually it's not happy you know usually in these type of movies where they show us the ending first they're not happy and because of that like because we know that something bad is going to happen the weird like you know aura surrounds the whole movie and uh, movie of the anime and like you know you know that whatever is going to happen by the end of it nothing will matter like you know and um, like you have to kind of harden your heart and like see like you know go along with the characters and grow like you know grow attached to them by bit by bit by bit knowing the factor uh, fact that yeah by the end of it like it, it will be all be over like that's like this is that type of a movie and like you know like, i don't know like i'm i myself am like is usually a big fan of happy endings but like this like you know this movie i can kind of 
say that in a way like even though like the character the main character he changed it changed drastically like it was a sad ending but because we knew that yeah it was going to be a sad ending the like you know the shock or the sadness was kind of spread throughout the whole movie it did not come in one point you know but that is the end it, it was not something like that we knew what were going to happen and after even after knowing it we like you know we saw the movie and yeah like this is really good i have to say <sighs> wow and you know like um another thing is like the the main character haruki like he i don't know like his in his mind he he was a person like this as he's explained that i like whoever person i know i kind of think what they're thinking about me like it's like an imagine imaginary world and that's why like I, like as they explained that that's why he never called her by his, his her name because he knew that if he did something like that he's going to also make a like you know imaginary uh what can i say excuse me he's going to make an imaginary her inside his imagination and he was scared of of what that was going to like you know uh, what that imaginary sakura is going to like you know think about him in his imagination he was scared about it because he knew like you know he he really wanted to become friends good friends with her and everything and he knew that if that imaginary sakura in his mind said something bad about him like everything was his own imagination but you know like uh he thought that like i'm sure like he thought that he won't be able to bear it that's why he never called him by her name and uh it was like and by the end of it when they said that like you know when this uh, when she said that uh, i am the s sakura that blooms in the spring uh <clears throat> I, someone's like and that was like when the time when i like you know realized that yeah his name is something with haru like haruki like you know anything haru yuki haruki or something and it was really like you know like very like uh <laughs> like in a way really in like not interesting but really fascinating as to how like you know like they, as as she also thought that how their names are interconnected and as she said that fate and everything these like not fate but the choices that they made kind of made like took them together made them together and made them interact with each other and like it's really like such a great feeling when by the like when they said like you know when they kind of uh, blurred like not blurred but when they kind of uh, reduced uh, just a sec oh god something's happening outside I'm, I'm kind of getting distracted um so yeah <laughs> Um, as I was saying, um, uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'm getting distracted now. Something's happening happening outside my house. I'm not so sure about it. But anyways, um, so yeah, as I was saying, so uh, like it, it, it was when they did not let us know what her, his name was, I knew something was there, like, you know, and uh, but I did not expect something like this, you know, their name to be connected. So by the end of it, that was a really nice, like, you know, little surprise. And uh, yeah and i like i'm sure this is extremely popular like you know i've heard a lot about this movie and uh like you know by the end of it like i'm i'm happy that he is able to interact with other people and everything and i'm sure like he'll have a great like you know future ahead of him and uh, as he said that she was the person who changed him and um yeah like it's a sad happy you know bittersweet type of an ending yeah nothing you can do about it you know like yeah like this really had vibes of uh your lie in april april you know but in your lie in april you never knew what was the actual disease like you know you, ne you never got any hints and at least at the beginning that uh what was the name of the girl kauri wasn't it uh i'm talking about your lie in april uh 
or am I mistaken? It? What was her name? It has been a long time I've seen your light in April. Uh, yeah, Kaori. Like her name is so like you know memorable that I remembered it. Even after, even though I've watched it like so many years ago, it came out 2014. That was the time when I saw it. So yeah, her name is so like you know like rememberable that I still remembered her name. Okay, so Kaori. So yeah, so like you, uh, like as I said, like it's been a long time I've seen your lie in April. So. I cannot remember each and everything, but as far as I remember, like there were no hints of like her having that terminal disease in the beginning of the show, you know, like by the end of it, we had little bits and pieces of hints and we could understand what is actually happening. So uh, the setting is a bit different as like, as I said, like this movie kind of showed everything from the beginning, what's going to happen. So there was this like, you know, a gloomy type of an atmosphere. Uh, from like you know from the beginning but like you know the sakura kind of like lightened up everything even in that gloomy atmosphere and uh, but your line in april did not have that but by the end of it we could feel something wrong is going to happen and but still it really reminded me of that like you know the whole like disease thing and like her leaving someone who she loved back in you know like leaving them and going to the other world so to the afterlife oh so, yeah and like as i was saying like uh like even though like this had as i said like a gloomy kind of a atmosphere sakura was that bright like you know light who kind of like lightened up everything even though this movie had such like we knew what was going to happen it was great so yeah guys that was it that was this movie so <laughs> yeah it was sad but had a little bit you know of happiness also in it and it was amazing i have to say like really good great movie and uh, yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to i want to eat your pancreas or kimi no suizo tabetai oh also another thing like the whole like title of the movie like you know i want to eat your pancreas like it's really interesting to think like uh, like you know there's this thing where people say like whichever body part you eat if you have a disease of it like like you know uh, whichever body part of an animal of the same uh, like you know bo disease that you have in that body part if you eat it it will get like you know uh, like slowly it will uh, uh, like be cured like there's a saying like this so yeah that is usually like usually the meaning of the title like i i've seen a lot of people kind of like you know freak out and whenever they hear the title of this movie like you know like i want to eat your pancreas they're like what the hell is this some kind of like you know zombie movie <laughs> like you know some guy what is this like but no it's nothing like that <laughs> like you know the, the the reason behind the title is something like this and yeah so yeah anyway so yeah guys if you guys uh, enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, uh not subscribed i'm almost at 500 subscribers so yeah that's a really happy thing and also uh, comment down below anything you want to say your opinion of the movie uh you know anything uh just anything I, uh, if you want to comment and uh, if you want to comment be sure to do it i'll check them out so yeah so okay um the next week i usually do a movie this like you know this day if you're new to the channel uh, i usually do one movie every week uh same time same day so next week i'm going to react to another sad movie i think i think this is sad i've heard about it it is um hotarubi hotarubi no morie or the forest of fire and the fi of fly fireflies i think this is also a sad movie i've heard about it oh god <laughs> but i'm really interested like i've heard a lot of great things about this movie so yeah next week i'm going to do this so yeah uh, that's it so thank you guys for watching uh, my reaction so i'll see you guys next week with another movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day